Here's the thing is we have to understand the difference between the war and a battle. A battle is a bigger part of a war. So people can win or lose a battle. Let's put it this way for my sports fans. There are quarters in the game, but each quarter in the football game is not the game. It's a part of a game. So a team can be up and down at the end of a particular quarter, but the only one that matters is the fourth quarter because that dictates whether you win or lose. <laughs> so I say that is because sometimes we get confused in the situation that we're in, and the enemy tries to make us believe we're in the war, and it's just one of the battles. So here's one of the funny things. Got to love my experiences. God is always interesting. So if you don't know me, let me share, even for my online family, I love a good sale. I tell everybody I shop with Jesus because he is the best shopping partner. He's going to tell you what's on sale. Ooh, got great fashion sense. Love him, right? But I say that to say is I went shopping. I got a gift card for my birthday. Family blessed me with it. Went shopping, and because of that, they said it's a store called Tour, and it said you have Tour it cash. Now, I'm excited because I equate what they call this to Kohl's cash. Uh -oh. You know what I mean? Like, Kohl's cash means you just walk in and you, get, you, you, you buy stuff, right? Yeah. And I'm like, okay, cool. And they keep emailing me and emailing me. Don't forget to spend it because you got to do it within a certain window, right? And they're like, you know, only three more days left. Only one more day left. So here I am rushing to get to the store because I only got like one more day left, right? I go into the store, and I'm shopping. Jasmine with me. OC got the boys wrangled, trying on cute dresses and shirts and stuff, just having a great time because I got so much to spend. And I'm like, ooh, I got to spend it all, right? That's in my mind because that's what they've been emailing me. They've been telling me, come on into our store because you done racked up. You got like $100. I'm like, yes, Lord. So I get to the store, and I'm not completely naive to this, and I say, okay, so, like, what can I not use it on? They said, oh, you just cannot use it on clearance. Got you. Cool. I'm at the front of the store now shopping, finding all the, the new, new stuff. Done found the new, new. Done tried it on and looked in the mirror and loved it. Like, this is it. These are the ones, right? I get to the cash register. First, I got to wait in line because they are packed. Because you remember, they told all of us. This is the last day. You only got a couple more days. So me and a whole bunch of other women in this store trying to use up our, our cash, the points that we earned, right? So we, have, we spent money, we put time in, and we, they told us this is what we earned. And so I go to the register, and I said, all right, here's my stuff. I got, my, I got in my mind, I'm like, this is outfit number one. This is number two. This one can go if I, I, like, I got it mapped out, right? And she started scanning. And she said, that'd be 125. I said, excuse me? I have 100. How did that, how, how, how? the math is not mathing. And she said, oh, this isn't like cash. You have to spend so much. You have to, it's $50 increments. You got to spend 50 to get 25 off. And so after I spent, and, and then if you don't hit the 50 mark, so if you only got to 89, you don't get the discount until you get to 100, and then you get the, it, it's a whole equation, right? And I looked at her, and the reason I say this is because I was like, this don't make sense. Not only with the fine print, but the reason I know this don't make sense is I know at this particular store, because the way I got these points is if you wait long enough, it moves to clearance, and then clearance is on sale. I have a dress in my hand that was 75, Dow got knocked down to 35, and then it's 40% off of that. And it was just full price a month ago. I say that to say the math doesn't make sense because I realized at that moment, I said, well, the way y'all work, if I just wait another month, all oh, this is going to be on sale anyway. So why would I spend this much now? And I know if I just wait... If I just wait, it's just, I'm going to get it for the fraction of what you're trying to sell it to me for based on a lie that you said I earned it. 
But if I wait, it will literally be given to me. And the reason I know this is because my testimony is last month I bought a $70 dress. What was it, OC? $4? $3. So I know my testimony, my experience tells me if I just wait. The enemy tried to lure me in ahead of time. Before God's timing. And promised me all of these things. Made me fall in love with it. Told me to put it on. See how you look in it. How's it feel? You like that, don't you? You can see yourself wearing it, looking like this to that. And then once I got to the register, then they revealed a price that I knew was not in my budget. But here's the thing is, <laughs> I know I serve a God because the enemy does that to us. I use clothes, but so many times he lures us in and tells us you have to hurry. You have to come in now. It's only a limited time only. Come in. You, own, you earned this, didn't you? You earned this. You worked for this, didn't you? You put in the time. This is yours, right? Come on in and claim it right now. Because if you don't, you'll lose it. And it's not till he'll bring you in. He'll make you look real good in it. You'll walk around. You touch it like, this is it. This is nice, Lord. This is, this is me. This is me. Oh, Lord, this is me. And it's not till you get to the cash register that they reveal all the fine print and payment. And you're like, but my God said it is mine. My God said he already paid the price. My God said that it belongs to me. My God, are, okay, hold on, wait, wait, wait. And we're like, did I hear God? You did. But here's the thing is the enemy tried to t- trick you on the timing. And so often I saw some people in line ahead of me who got caught in the trap and they felt pressured to go ahead and buy it because I was here. I took the time. I waited in line. I don't want to waste anybody's time. And I've been here, so I might as well. But that is, this is a battle. The question is, in the battle, are you, the part of the battle is, can you walk away and wait? So I put all those dresses down, tell them prayerfully, I'll see you in another month or two. And I left. I did buy that one $14 dress. It was really cheap. <laughs> that one I did wait on. That one I waited. That, that was in budget. But the thing is, so often the enemy tries to rush us in to paying a price that we were never meant to pay and put us in a position that we were never meant to be in. When all our God said was, wait. If we just wait, it will literally be given to you. So as we go forward in this season, and I say that because I know we were, were trapped in the house. I'm excited to get to church. Apostle and O.C. had to talk me down. I'm like, I'll go to church. It could just be me there. I'm ready to go. But <laughs> we in a season <laughs> where God is telling us, just wait. Everything that I spoke to you, everything that was declared over you, everything that was promised to you, is coming. Do not let the enemy trick you into paying a price that was already paid. We even went to another store to buy something. They couldn't find our order, so they made us pay twice. And the lady said, I don't know what to do. Just when you get the other order, just return it. And we did that one because of something else. But it was just that we just kept having that experience of people trying to force us to pay. And it's like, you know what? This ain't even our price to pay. It's like I said again, especially in this season, when it's cold and we we rushing, we ready to go. I can't stand the snow. I can't stand the cold. I want this to hurry up and go. God is saying, just wait. There'll be a season of running and ripping and moving. But in this season, if you have been called to that season of waiting, it is for a reason. Amen. So. Enjoy your season of wait and rest. This is the season. Just wait. Because when it's time to go, you're going to be going and then you can't wait. (laughs) 
So if you are in the season of wait, God says, just wait. Amen? Amen. How y'all doing today?